Hello, Manny here again. I have another short sermon to speak on here. That I hope will encourage your Christian walk in Christ Jesus our Lord. Before we get started you know to speak the truth will set you free. So I shall speak the truth before I open God's word to preach to you. I am not real I am just a mannequin, talking through an animation program that my owner has. But let's just pretend that I am real. And let's learn some interesting words from God's word shall we? Okay. Now Robert my owner, he saw an interesting sign on the road today. That said who are you without advertising? Well. Is that ever a very good statement and question? Advertising is the means of what makes people aware of the products or services that a company or service has and what that company or organization promotes and provides for its clients. Okay. Now I know what you are thinking how does this pertain to God's word? Well let's think out of the box here a little. People pay agencies to provide a good advertising campaign, to make their products visible to the public to purchase. Even churches advertise to get people to come and worship God at their churches which the church is really, God's church not ours. His son Jesus paid for it on Calvary with his blood and life. Now if churches are doing advertising, in order to get more people to come to the church services, I ask you, is this wrong or is it worldly for churches to do this? Do you think that this advertising by churches should not be done, or is it against the laws or rules of God? Now if you think this is wrong, then you are wrong about this. I will show you in God's word some verses that are like an actual advertisement. How about Genesis 1, 1 in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And this follows all through Genesis chapter 1. Then in Genesis chapter 2 he creates man and woman. Now you may ask how does this pertain to the subject of advertising? Let's look at the word advertise in the dictionary. It means to make a public announcement, to proclaim, to notify and warn. To call attention to. Folks what is the Bible God's word actually doing? It is calling attention to, it notifies us and is warning us of coming events and also how we are to conduct our lives. Also about how to live a good life through Christ and have an eternal life. So yes, I know that some of you are scratching your head, and are thinking that I am just crazy here, maybe so, but then again maybe not. But you might be crazy too, you are the one sitting here listening to a lifeless mannequin preach, what you need to hear. Okay. A little of my manny humor. Okay. Now for those of you who do not understand this, Let's go deeper into the word of God here, and I will show you what I am talking about here. In Luke 2, 8 through verses 14. We find the greatest advertisement or announcement known to mankind in the Bible. The birth of Jesus Christ. The scriptures tell us that angels came out of the heavens and announced to the shepherds the birth of Christ, and where they would have to go to find him, and what his purpose was. Okay. Now I see Ausamet, proclaiming, notification, and information here. What we in this generation would call an advertisement. We also see this all throughout the Bible. Announcements, warnings, information, and notifications. For example the book of Revelations is warning us about end times. Another good scripture is found in Matthew 28. 19 and 20. This is our main sermon verses. It says go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Okay. Now what just happened here folks? I will tell you. These verses are in a way like an advertisement. It is announcing, notifying, 
and informing us. It is the best advertising campaign ever put together. The scriptures here are relating to Jesus Christ's death and his resurrection from the dead. This is the best advertisement of all time and fully guaranteed and paid for, and the best part it is free to everyone. But wait a minute here. What does the scripture also say? It says for us to go out and teach all nations about Christ. If we are followers of Christ. And he is commanding for us to spread the gospel of Christ to all nations. Then guess what he is telling us to advertise that Jesus died for our sins. The advertising campaign has been paid for in full by God's Son's death and resurrection. It is a guaranteed services of eternal life, if you believe in Jesus Christ. Unlike products of this world it cannot be bought at any price. But rather it is free to anyone who believes in Christ Jesus. Now it also says in God's word that we are to be an example of Christ. In the book of Titus chapter 2 and some other scriptures in the word of God, that also pertain to how we are to live our lives like Christ. Now wait just a minute hear what just happened here this time. Well, guess what you just became the billboard for advertising the gospel of Christ. That is right if you are a Christian, you are to go forth and teach the gospel of Christ to everyone. In other words you are advertising the best campaign that has ever been put together the gospel of Christ. Your own life born again in Christ Jesus. That was bought and paid for in full by Jesus Christ our Lord. The services are created and paid for in full. And you are God's mouthpiece or billboard for his advertising this free service that will give everyone who accepts Christ as Lord hope and an eternal life. Okay. Now let's all get out there and advertise Jesus Christ to a hopeless dying world. It is what our campaign manager has co-made us and created us to do. Thank you for listening to me, now go out and spread the gospel. And advertise for God so many will be saved from the wrath to come.